Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, look behind me. It's literally... It's the street. <laughs> So your taxi or your bus just takes you here and the orchards are literally just <laughs> right here. So, you know, if you were a total dick, you could just walk by, get some cherries. <coughs> you don't even need to pay. But don't, don't, <coughs> don't do that. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> Okay, so you pay for one hour or 40 minutes. That's $40 or 4,000 yen for, for an hour. And it's so big, this place is like so big. And it doesn't really have fences or anything. And you can just look, look at it. Can you, can you guys see it? And oh, it's so good. Now, this is what you call a date. Imagine going on a date in an orchard where you have everything all to yourself. All oh, the cherries in the world. Amazing. So 70% of Japan's cherries are actually grown here in Yamagata. So can you imagine the cherry population all in one place for you to enjoy? Sometimes you feel like you want to eat them, you just want to stare at them, you want to take photos of them, or you just want to... Uh, this is really happening right now. <laughs> so each orchard that you go to is a different type. To be honest, it's kind of hard to tell, but um, it actually says in the trees the names of the cherries. And, you know, I can't really understand it, but it doesn't matter, they're cherries. So, eat more. How about we go to the other side? So I was telling DJ Mo Twister, <laughs> the things I like to do when I travel these days are very auntie vibes. <laughs> yeah, I think no, no clubs, no drinking, no, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I think now I'm wanting to do more things that involve nature. Yeah, very auntie things basically. <laughs> So I'm here in one of the fields and it's really exciting because look, all the cherries are all around you and the rules are you can pick them and eat them as you go. They're clean and ready to eat, so I'm gonna go get one. So good. And then you just drop the seeds in the floor just like that. But if you wanna take them home, which they're going to weigh, they say the way you pull it, rather than just getting the fruit itself, you have to get the stem as well or else it's gonna spoil but in this case I'm gonna eat it um the highlight of the show check out my fanny pack you like that <laughs> so apparently you can't bring any of your belongings I'm not really sure why but even if you have a really small bag so at least you have all your belongings here. It's not really matching my OOTD, but hey, I get to pick cherries and I get to do this just like in the movies. Ooh, look! <laughs> cherries! Seriously, posing beside fucking cherries. Oh, whoa! <laughs> it's not as easy as I thought. How do you look natural? This is so amazing. Your mom always told you to never litter. And drop shit in the floor. <laughs> I just did. They said, you can do it. Help. The ones I just ate, the light colored ones, like this one, they're not very sweet. So I found one, and it's yellow. I'm not sure it's, if it's because it's not fully ripe or because it's just really a variety. Ah. It's a little bit better, but it's very hard. <laughs> yeah. So there's 
there's like labels on the on the different trees so that if you like a certain tree take a photo of it then maybe you can show the girls outside and those are the chairs that you can buy or bring home or eat and um, but most of the cherries that I've been seeing are mostly these ones they're like where are you that one they're much softer <coughs> They're mildly sweet. Mm, they're really fat and juicy. But the, what I'm looking for, the really, really, really dark one, like the crimson ones, but the like the ones that look like wine red, but can't seem to find them. I find that those are the sweetest. These are the best cherries I've tried. They are so succulent and they're so sweet and they're so soft but not like in a soggy way. And the good thing about this place, it's raining today, can you hear it? But it's covered so it doesn't matter. So the guy was telling us to go up the ladder because we need to try and find the most, he said, deep red. So let's find the deep red ones. There's a lot of them. <sighs> so happy, guys. Cherry orchards, is that what you call them? They're my happiest place. So cherries, just like people, there are different kinds. So even if you're fixated on one tree, you gotta try all the other trees to see which one's the sweetest, more tart, soft, not so soft, and really choose what kind you like. Because sometimes, like with me, you would think that uh, I only like the most expensive things. I only like the luxury things. Actually not. I was actually sharing on Instagram that my favorite fish in Japan is mackerel. Which is actually pretty cheap compared to the scallops, the tuna, to the taro and all these things. So sometimes their cherries are actually really, really expensive. And thank goodness, maybe the one you like is actually the cheapest one. Guess what I'm doing? Well, <laughs> yes, I'm actually strawberry picking. Can you believe that? I've never really been to a strawberry orchard before. And uh, here is my little uh, cup that they use. Now the round one is usually where they put condensed milk. They ask you if you want. It's for a little fee, I think about uh, 50 yen. And then uh, you get that. I want it plain. I just wanted to have the plain strawberries as they are. Now when you're here, they give you a couple of rows to eat from. Of course the others, they're still kind of like growing it. I think uh, some people have already eaten it. And some even here, there's still the flowers, they're still growing. So I want to make sure that I've left some for you guys to see that I am going to eat just like this one <laughs> it may not look it's actually quite sunny outside there is so much snow like way up high it's about negative three but in here it is hot but then again I learned that in Baguio you know in places like in the northern tip of the Philippines strawberry grows in the cold well I guess technically because we're built we're around snow I guess that is cold right so Akita I'm in Akita prefecture like the dog so yeah somewhere in the middle of nowhere strawberry farm mm. super 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 sweet okay for all the annoying people who are gonna ask oh my god are they like organic i'm like i don't know they're delicious they're clean they uh you don't even need to wash them when you're here all you got to do is collect all the little what do you call it the stems no nope. open the garbage garbage can you're done <laughs> 